Hey guys! As I mentioned in my last video, one of the videos I wanted to post this week was in celebration of my birthday and so today we're making a basic or simple birthday cake. As always, if you want to support the channel, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and let me know if you have any food requests in the comments. First you want to take some clay which is going to be the base color for the cake, roll out a sheet and then cut out as many circles as you want layers for the cake. You then want to add some shading to all sides using soft pastel, because even though the cake is going to be frosted, the baked edges would be visible. Roll out a thin sheet of white clay or any other color you want the frosting, and then cut out as many circles as you need to go in between each layer of cake. Take the same color and cover the outside of the cake. Then use your blade or a similar tool to blend out the edges. This does not have to be perfect at all, not only because it is food and food is rarely perfect, but mostly because we're trying to make the cake look like it's covered in frosting rather than fondant. I then took some thick icing which is made up of Fimo Deco Gel and white clay and then spread out a really thin layer both on top and the sides. The reason why I do it this way is because it's a lot less messy and a lot easier to control than covering the cake just with the liquid frosting. Use your blade to cut a couple of slices. And then use a fine needle tool for the inside texture. While doing this, I just want to take a quick moment to thank you for the support on my last video. Definitely going to post two videos this week. Also, if you're new to this channel, I would recommend reading the blog post linked in the info box because it goes through the different things I'm going to be posting on here and not going to be posting. And for those of you who ask questions about the tools and materials I use, I do have a video about it on my channel. I also link my FAQ in the info box, which goes through the questions I get pretty much every single day. Next, for the inside texture of the frosting, I used an X-Acto knife. Now for the fun part, I first mixed up some bright colors for the sprinkles. The first type of sprinkles I make were confetti sprinkles and for these you want to roll out some thin snakes, then pre-bake and cut them into thin slices. And no, I didn't cut them one by one, you can cut multiple rods at once. If you wanted to, you could cover the entire cake, I think that would be really fun, but for me personally, I chose to cover the top and bottom edge. I also made some simple stars by flattening some clay and then using my X-Acto knife to cut out the shape. And depending on the amount you want to use, you may or may not consider making a mold. After pre-baking these, I attached them to the cake using some liquid clay. 
And the reason why I attached these using liquid clay when I didn't use that for the confetti sprinkles is simply because some of the stars is going to be on top of the confetti. To make the candles I mixed the same colors about half and half with translucent, rolled out some thin snakes, flattened them slightly, and then twisted them to give the candles a bit of detail. If you wanted to, you could make multicolored candles like candy canes. I chose to keep it pretty simple. I added some 0.1mm wire for the wick at one end. I also added a dab of liquid clay to hold in the wick a bit better. Then cut off the length I needed and pre-baked. Usually, if I don't want my items to have a flat back, I'll bake them on top of a ceramic fiber blanket, but if you don't have this, you can also use a cotton pad. Place these around the cake and bake. The last thing you want to make is just a few crumbs, just to add some more realism. After baking, I first used some black acrylic paint to paint the wicks. I then added some brown acrylic paint just to a few areas of the cake layers. And lastly, you just want to add a tiny bit of glass glaze. Not really to make the frosting or sprinkles look shiny, just to make the cake look fresh and moist. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any food requests in the comments and I'll see you in my next tutorial.